We're going to go to Russia now because the Barbie movie was one of the biggest box office hits of the summer. Now Barbie fever has reached Russia, as Steve Rosenberg reports. Russia's leaders accuse the West of destabilizing Russia. They say the West is plotting to break Russia up. They claim there's something ungodly about Western values. So they're not exactly tickled pink by her arrival. The Barbie movie has made it to Moscow, despite Hollywood sanctions over the Ukraine war. A pirate copy, that is. But Russia's culture ministry has criticized the film for doing nothing to promote what it calls traditional Russian values. MP Maria Butina wants Barbie dolls banned from Russian kindergartens. And as for the film... So for me personally, it's so far from the reality that I don't think it promotes what Russia wants to bring to the world today. What does Russia want to bring to the world? Well, some people call it traditional values. How can you talk about values as a representative of a country that has invaded its neighbour? Well, you know, we have a different position on that. We believe that actually NATO was so aggressive to us. You hear this so often from those in power here. Even though it was Russia that invaded Ukraine, they say it's not Russia that's the aggressor, it's America, NATO, the West that are threatening Russia. And the authorities use this alleged threat to try to rally Russians around the flag, to boost patriotism. It's about love for the motherland, not Barbie land. And so you get more of this kind of entertainment. A three-hour drive from Moscow in the town of Shokina, we find paratrooper pop stars singing of Russia's invincibility. For this top of the patriotic pops, almost a full house. On the screen behind them, no Barbie or Ken. The occasional Vladimir, though. We will serve the motherland and crush the enemy, they sing, of the war in Ukraine. Do these patriotic notes strike a chord? To find out, in Shokina, I ask people about the Barbie movie. Right now, we need patriotic Russian films to raise morale, Andrei tells me. And we need to cut out Western habits from our lives. Diana, though, thinks art is universal. To become a more cultured, sociable person, she says, you need to watch films from other countries. But the longer their country is in conflict with the West, the more pressure there will be on Russians to treat the West as their enemy. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, shocking them.